Now we are going to start the chapter circles. Generally, without this any question from this chapter, till now there is no IIT paper, MZ paper, AAAAA, any competitive examination without this chapter, without, there is no such paper at all. Therefore, our main focus is on circles. What do you mean by circle? First, if you look into this particular chapter, suppose if you take any surface, if any such points are there, if I take any fixed point here, if I am able to collect the distance, if I am able to take the distance from these points, every distance should be uniform. That implies, suppose if I have the distance D1 is there, the same distance D2, D3, D4, and D5, but D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, all these distances are same. Whenever the distances are same, then we are calling it as a, it is a circle. But in a general definition, if I want to say, a general definition of a circle says that it is the locus of a point, it is the locus of a point such that the distance from a fixed point from a fixed point is constant. Now we will elaborate the definition. It is a locus of a point such that the distance from a fixed point is constant. Suppose if I take a point here let us call it as PH, K. Suppose if another point capital A, X, Y, if I take it, the distance from here to here is a fixed. That implies the point it is taking this and moreover it is moving around this point. That implies we are going to get a path. This path if you see carefully, if you see the path carefully, the distance from here to here is always the same distance it will be there. The distance is a constant distance. From this there are certain points we have to observe. The constant distance is called constant distance is called radius. Now second point which we have to understand is going to be the fixed point here we have, therefore the fixed point is called, fixed point is called the center of center. That implies we are able to come to one conclusion, a circle will have the center as well as radius. But the center where it has to lie, it may lie in a first quadrant it may lie in a second quadrant, it may lie in a third quadrant, like that the center may lie at any place. Now from this we are going to derive certain things which you have. Now if you take a circle, in this circle, this fixed point which we are calling it as a center, now this distance which we are calling it as a radius. Double the radius if you take it, this we are calling it as a diameter. Let us take AB is a diameter. AB is a diameter. Diameter always splits the circle into two equal parts. That implies this part is going to be the same as this part. Now, suppose if I take a triangle here, then angle this circle is called a semicircle, which we are calling it as. Yeah, let us call it as this point is P. A, this is one arc. Actually, A, this path, whatever we are taking here, this is called the path. In this path, let us call it as this is arc. In this arc, we have taken a point P. Angle in a semicircle, that is called A, P, B, we are calling it as a semicircle. In a angle in a semicircle, is a right angle that implies it is going to possess right angle at this. 
but generally at intermediate level or plus 2 level what we will do is we are taking a point x1 y1 and we are going to find take out x2 y2 and the product of the slopes is minus 1 by taking the end points of it then we are able to find out the equation of the circle also then but that is a little extension of this now angle in a semicircle is a right angle that point we have to remember therefore angle in a semicircle is right angle this point we have to remember now the second point is suppose if i have taken a circle this point let us call it as a center this is one line i have taken this is the major portion this is called minor portion now in this this line is not passing through the origin whenever this line is not passing through the origin then i can say that it is called a chord therefore here ab is called chord but there is a chord therefore line which does not passes through which does not passes through which does not passes through the center is called chord but there is one question suppose the longest chord is a diameter because of that is called that is dividing this one into the circle into the equal parts therefore we can say that the longest chord is the longest chord is the diameter this is one of the important point as a student we have to remember now whenever it is a longest chord is a diameter by the taking the ends of a diameter we can find out the equation of the circle now we are going to talk about the equation of the now we are going to think about the tangential line also that tangent is a limiting position of a point is called a tangent that application also i will tell you now we are going to talk about some of the important points here first we are going to think about limiting position of a point limiting position of a point is called tangent limiting position of a point is called tangent what does it mean suppose if you take a cycle rim if you pour the water on the cycle rim rotate the cycle rotate the wheel naturally the water flow it is going to look like this from here onwards it will fall like this that implies from here onwards the water is going to be is is going to is going like this therefore at this particular point even if i join l if i draw a line that line i am calling it as a limiting position or we are calling it as a tangential line therefore limiting position of a point is called tangential line this is one of the important points which we have to, but we have to think about the cards also then now suppose all cards of this circle they will make equal angles at the center what does it mean we'll see suppose if i take a circle if i take a center this is one card it is making angle here the same manner it is also going to make some angles here they are going to make out some angles here therefore like that i can find out but except this i cannot this the longest diameter is not going to make out any angles there 